hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel guys <laughs> it's me harmony unduk here again today <laughs> i'm back with another bang <laughs> so yes guys if you're a new subscriber here you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber you're most definitely welcome and you <laughs> You guys watching this video that I'm not subscribed, what are you waiting for now? Uh -uh. Why don't you click the subscribe button and also turn on the notification post for more of my YouTube videos. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. So yes, today I will be discussing with you guys facts you need to consider before getting married to military personnel men. Yeah. So guys, I'm a married to one, so believe me, I'm in a position to tell you guys the facts you need to consider before getting married to a military personnel. Get it right. So yeah, one, number one fact you need to consider is that 85% of your marriage life, just know that your hobby is not going to be there. Your hobby is not going to be there. See, get it right or you get it wrong, but that's just it. Your hobby is not going to be there all the time because of the nature of his job. He's been posted here, he's been posted there, and he can't take you guys along all the time. So you have to have a destination which hobby you will come back maybe to as but to see you guys to you know see you guys and the holy stuff and all that stuff. So your hobby is not always going to be there guys so just put that at the back of your mind there if you are the clingy kind of person if you are the attention kind of lady that loves attention that loves all that romantic stuff and all that good stuff you know <laughs> just know that hobby is not going to be there you want to take it you want to leave it but that's just the truth it's bitter it's the bitter truth you have to know hobby is not going to be there he will not always be there yeah you can communicate through phone and all that stuff it's a distant re um, relationship marriage distant marriage which is not just funny i'm not discouraging you if you feel you can do it if you feel that's the kind of marriage you want fine see i do you know so yeah hobby is not going to be there don't put it like oh, I am married. I'm getting married to this guy, so 100% he's going to be there with us and all that stuff. No, he's not going to be there. He can't be taking you guys to there, coming back there and all that stuff. You know, he's been posted here. He will take you guys. He's been posted. No, see, it's not just fun. You you can't put your children's education on on hold because you want to follow hobby. So just with that back of your mind. Before saying I do that, hobby will not be there. He will not always be there. You know, he'll come visit. Please don't get me wrong. He'll come visit, but he will not always be there. You have to learn to make decisions on your own. That's another fact. You have to learn to make decisions on your own. There are decisions that, that you want to make at that point in time. Yeah, there are. At that point in time. And... Maybe you're calling hobby, hobby is not available, maybe he's busy in the office and all that stuff. You just have to make that decision. So you have to learn to make decisions on your own, darling. On your own. You have to learn to make decisions. And um, yeah. And tell you just know that your kids are going to grow up without daddy as bad. It's five eighty-five, ninety-seven, then seventeen, five percent of their lives. See. Your kids are going to grow up without daddy. Daddy will not always be there. He will not always be there. And it's hot. It's hot. Seriously, it's hot knowing that daddy will not always be there when the kids need him. And yeah, it's hot a lot. So let me use me as an example, like my son. My son loves his dad a lot. See, that side, I cannot come and argue. I cannot come and bagging for it or how will I put it see he loves his dad a lot so like if he sees someone wearing the uniform he will be like daddy he'll be calling the person dad I was like this is not your dad <laughs> don't you know your father this is not your dad Mr. Man <laughs> like he loves his dad a lot so he's used to that he wants daddy to be there but daddy's not there it's quite unfortunate daddy's not there 
it's not easy see it's not like they don't want to build your family but due to the nature of their job taking them here taking them there you can't follow your husband everywhere no matter i don't you have to have a destination so like daddy will not always be there for the kids so you as the mom you have to fill in the space for daddy yeah because you're struggling out there to make any needs for the future to plan for the future and all those stuff so you have to fill in for daddy and yeah again you have to be understanding you have to be very when i mean understanding i just don't mean understanding i mean very very understanding you have to be understanding because um see if if you if you walk in your shoes if you walk in your shoes then you know what they're feeling but you're not in your shoes you're just seeing it from afar so you just be like mm, i beg this man is not doing anything much but see I just there's one that I have come to understand in life. You have to walk in someone's shoes, then you know how it feels, you know. So you have to be an understanding person. You have to learn to be considerate at all times. You have to learn. You have to learn to be considerate. And you have to learn to be appreciative. You have to appreciate them. It's not easy. They're serving this country, and apart from serving this country, like the job is not funny for married men. It's not funny at all for married men, and yeah you have to be a prayerful woman a praying woman a praying wife you have to learn to be prayerful you have to be a praying wife i'm still saying this see not this is the most important thing you have to put you have to be a praying wife <laughs> see if you don't know how to pray just start learning how to pray before you even marry you have to learn to be prayerful they need it see if you are a praying wife, let me let me break some understanding. I say, if if you are a praying wife, your husband go far. He goes far. Like when I mean far, he's winning, he's going further, he's progressing. You won't know. You might feel like okay, maybe at that point in time, nothing is working out. You just feel like uh, maybe God is not answering. But if God has given you the vision to see beyond the physical, believe me, you will know that in the spiritual realm, your husband has gone far. So before it will start manifesting in the physical realm, man, the man has gone far, and you have to learn to prophesy it. So you learn to be a praying wife. That's the only way you guys can overcome. They don't really have much time on their hands after stress and all that stuff to come back and pray. So you have to fill in for your husband. You have to learn to be prayerful. I'm saying this to all wives out there. Apart even let's put the military stuff aside. All wives, I'm saying this, you have to learn to be prayerful. You have to be a praying wife. You have to be praying. The Bible says men should learn to ought always to pray and not to faint. Prayer does not mean that if you pray in the morning, eh, I will not pray in the afternoon, let me pray in the evening. Always to pray. Ought always to pray. We should just ask God for the grace to not be lukewarm. We should ask God for the grace to be prayerful. We should learn to be prayerful. If you're a lukewarm person, please tighten up your belt. The world we're living in right now is <laughs> not something that you just want to overcome. You need prayer. See, you need prayer. You need prayer. So yeah, you have to learn to be prayerful and you have to learn to forgive. Darling, you have to learn to forgive. In that part, when I mean forgive, forgive, <laughs> you will enter and God will give you the grace to hold on. You have to learn to forgive. It's not funny. It's not easy. And yeah, circumstances will hit you. And you'll be like, oh no, you know. Why did I even get married to this military man? This military man is this, this military man is that and all that stuff and all that stuff. You you like you're tired, you this. It's it's not about many marriages, but this, this, it's something else. You know, just pray for the grace to wait for the answers prayer. I know what I'm saying. <laughs> See, just pray for the grace to wait. You have to be prayerful. Important notes. See, I'll write it here. Hope you are seeing it. You have to be prayerful. Learn to be prayerful. Pray for your husband. Pray for they need it. Pray for your husband, darling. So um yeah, apart from that, let's see. Is there anything? Is there any other fact? Nothing. Apart from that, they are the best. <laughs> 
like yeah they are the best i'm happy i'm married to one yeah happy i'm married to one they are the best they can take care of women see yeah they can they can they can they sure can they can take care of women and you know how to love so you're welcome to the family and to all the military wives out there you guys are the real g you guys are doing it kudos <laughs> You guys are the real G, you guys are doing it. May God give you the strength to continue to hold up and may God give you the strength to continue to stand in for your husbands. You guys are doing it. May God give you the strength to continue to stand in for your husbands and the strength to take care of the kids. And um, yeah, God bless you all, all the military wives. God bless you and peace. Bye. See you guys in my next video. Sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on hold on don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe guys don't forget to subscribe like share give it a thumbs up share it on your whatsapp status share it on your instagram share it on your facebook page guys just do it for harmony do it for harmony i know you can't comment i want new ideas guys i want new ideas tell me what you want me to do tell me the kind of video you want me to create and i'll create it so don't forget to comment in section box down below if you're a military wife comment in section box down below god bless you all and um yeah see you guys in my next video hope you enjoyed this and yeah bye